And first of all, I'd say starting a business is not for everyone. You know, so uh, generally, starting a business, I'd say number one is have a high pain threshold. There's a friend of mine who's got a good saying, which is that starting a company is like eating glass and staring into the abyss. Okay, that's um, that's generally what happens because um, when you first start a company, there's lots of optimism and things and things are great, and then so happiness at first is high. Then you encounter all sorts of issues, uh, and happiness will steadily decline, and then you'll go through a whole world of hurt. And then eventually, you'll, if you succeed, and in most cases, you will not succeed. Um, and, and Tesla almost didn't succeed, came very close to failure. Um, then if, if you succeed, then after a long time, you will finally get back to happiness. I think two is you've got to make sure that that you that whatever you're doing is a great product or service. It, it has to be really great. And I go back to what I was saying earlier, where um, if you're a new company, I mean, unless it's like some new industry or, or new market that, if it's an untapped market, or then then uh, you have more ability to you know, this this the standard is lower for your product or service. But if you're entering anything where there's an existing marketplace against large entrenched competitors, then your product or service needs to be much better than theirs. It can't be a little bit better because then you put yourself in the shoes of the consumer and they say, why would you buy it as a consumer? You're always going to buy the trusted brand unless there's a big difference. So a lot of times, uh, you know, an entrepreneur will come up with something which is only slightly better. Um, and it's, it's not, it can't just be slightly better. It's got to be a lot better. Uh, number three, I'd say, is constantly seek criticism. A well thought out critique of whatever you're doing is as valuable as gold. Um, and you should seek that from everyone you can, but particularly your friends. Usually, your friends know what's wrong, but they don't want to tell you because they don't want to hurt you. So they you know, say, oh, I wouldn't encourage my friends, so I'm, gonna t I'm not going to tell him what I think is wrong with this product. Yeah. It doesn't mean your friends are right. Uh, but very often they are right, um, and you at least want to listen very carefully to what they say. And to everyone, if you're looking for, basically, you should take the approach that that you're wrong. Um, you know that 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 you, the entrepreneur, are wrong. Your goal is to be less wrong. <laughs>